Hello again, everyone. Uh, we're here now with uh, Bodhisattva uh, to talk about using Wikidata on Wikisource. Bodhi, thanks for being with us. Um, could I ask you, please, because I don't know so much about Wikisource, actually, could you introduce the project to us a little bit? Uh, thanks, Danny, and uh, thanks for having me in, uh, in this uh, call. Um, I'm very excited to talk about Wikisource and Wikidata. Uh, Wikisource is a Wikimedia sister project. It's a sister project of Wikipedia, but unlike uh, it is an encyclopedia, it is not an encyclopedia. It is a free and open digital library where we deal with uh, copyright free and uh, public domain materials, mostly pre-published books, newspapers, uh, periodicals, audios and videos, but it is also not a um, simple digital library. It is also a transcription platform where you can transcribe the books, materials uh, into Unicode format so that you can uh, make it searchable, make it uh, available, accessible for the readers to read. Mm -hmm. Does it compromise uh, both nonfiction and fiction? Uh, yes, uh, it, it can have any kind of uh, genre, any kind of literary forms. Uh, it has uh, fictions, non-fictions, uh, poems, novels, anything which can, which is pub in public domain and is copyright free. But the only condition is that it should be pre-published somewhere. Uh, and uh, we also, uh, Wikisource also contains videos and audios. Uh, so that that part of transcription also happens there. Mm -hmm. And uh, if uh, someone is looking for um, a source text there, is it uh, only available in the language that's uploaded in or can it be uh, translated? Yeah, uh, there are a few Wikisource language projects where you can translate uh, from different other languages to your language. So you have a namespace for that, a translation namespace, but that is available only for a few wiki sources who are uh, availing it. Okay, I see. All right, um, thank you for explaining a little bit. Uh, I guess we should get onto the topic then. Um, do you remember the first time you started editing Wikidata and what motivated you to start editing it? So, um, the journey of Wikidata and my Wikimedia journey was almost, uh, uh, happened simultaneously. So Wikidata uh, was born in 2012 and I also started my editing in 2012. And I was I, I was active uh, uh, in uh, Bangla Wikipedia uh, since 2013. And uh, at that time, uh, the site links of uh, different languages, Wikipedia was kind of tedious work to do. Uh, so if you have an article of Mount Everest in your language, Wikipedia, and there are 160 languages which uh, have, those, have the article of Mount Everest, you have to manually add those uh, uh, site links one at a time to your Wikipedia and to other language Wikipedia so that that, that way the articles got connected. Um, but uh, in 2013, I guess, uh, we got a notification that uh, there is a new central database, which is called Wikidata, um, which is which can link site links in a different way. You can store the data in one place and uh, you can you can visualize all the language Wikipedia articles in different languages. Uh, so that was a major shift of workflow where we was doing manual entry of site links to uh, data uh, database entry of site links um, back in 2013. And I, I got into Wikidata just uh, doing the, that kind of work. Uh, so I was working on uh, different uh, mountains and mountain passes and rivers in northern part of India, in the Himalayan region. And I started uh, adding the site links from there. So that was back in 2013. That's wow. how I, yeah, that's how I, how I did it. 
uh, already a decade ago, but I guess you, because yeah. of like a topic or a passion that you had, that's what brought you to uh, like updating that information on Wikidata. So I wanted to ask you, um, since we're talking about Wikisource, um, in which ways do you think Wikidata is especially useful for Wikisource? Um, so uh, Wikisource, as I said, is a digital uh, library. And any digital library has two kind of contents. One is the actual content, the text content, mm -hmm. and the metadata content. Now. Uh, Wikidata is important uh, because we store the metadata on Wikidata and that metadata can be fetched back to Wikisource in different ways, in different pages. Um, so we store the data in one place and get it back from there in, uh, in different ways. Uh, but there are other ways also. Uh, Wiki, the metadata can also be stored locally on Wikisource. Uh, so, but that that has a disadvantage. If you store the data locally, uh, there might be uh, errors. There might be duplication of work, uh, redundancy of data. So if you have an error in one place and it is unnoticed, you cannot correct it in different places simultaneously because that gets unnoticed in, if, it, if you store the data in a uh, wiki source locally. So it is uh, smart to store the data in one place in centrally in Wikidata and get that data back to Wikisource so that if you find some errors, uh, you can just correct it in Wikidata and all your pages will get corrected uh, simultaneously. Uh, also, you, Wikidata, you can leverage the power of Wikidata through different visualizations, different ways of uh, showing the data in your wiki. Um, that part is also very, very cool, actually. Um, maybe you could tell me a little about what kind of metadata is being stored on Wikidata and, and why yeah, you are putting the metadata there. So uh, um, actually, Wikidata, uh, in Wikidata, we put the metadata about books, newspapers, periodicals. Mm -hmm. So any metadata around books, like the title of the book uh, or the author of the book, uh, the publisher of the book, or in which year the book was published. If it is a newspaper, uh, what is the volume of that uh, newspaper or the, what, is the, what is the issue number of that newspaper? If you have a specific identifier like ISBN, uh, or OCLC, uh, you can also add those kind of data uh, to Wikidata. Uh, if it is a video, uh, you can add, uh, for example, if it is a film, mm -hmm. a public domain film, uh, you can add the name of the director, the producer, the screenwriter, and so on. So all kind of data which are related to the content uh, can be stored there, and that can come back to Wikisource, and you can you can see it from there. Okay, great. Um, I think you, you might have brought some examples of Wikidata powered tools or templates uh, on Wikisource to show us today. Uh, sure, Danny. Uh, so um, as I told that we store metadata in one place uh, in Wikidata and that can reflect back to Wikisource. Uh, so this is one example of that. This is a book uh, in Bangla. So uh, it is a book in from 1939, uh, uh, and it was published from uh, Kolkata, India. And you can see uh, the, although it is the the script is different, so I am trying to explain it uh, in a way. Thank you uh, uh, for yeah, English speakers. Yeah, I don't uh, read Bangla exactly. <laughs> yeah. So uh, so this is the metadata parameters which I am selecting. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, first the title of the book, the author of the book, editor, uh, publisher, place of publication, date of publication, and so on. Mm -hmm. uh, and all these data are directly coming from Wikidata. So if I create, uh, click on the edit button, mm -hmm. uh, there is a form. Um, 
and this is the Wikidata item parameter, and this right. is the Wikidata uh, QID. Mm -hmm. So I have already created this QID on Wikidata, and the entire data which is coming th from there is uh, reflected in this way, in this uh, in this metadata portion. So um, uh, this is uh, tool. Uh, the this one is developed mainly through one uh, Lua module and a template. Thanks. And um, uh, so you're populating the, the data on the Wikidata ID, and you just enter in the QID um, on the field below, and then that populates uh, this section here, if, yes. I, if I understood correctly, and that's how it's working. Yes. Yeah. So this is the Wikidata Q item, actually. Mm -hmm. And do you do this uh, just to complete the information about uh, the particular book or author or, or uh, thing you're working on? Or are there other uses for the data um, that can be used? Yeah, uh, uh, it can be used in different ways. Uh, so uh, we tried to build a library catalog um, a few days ago uh, mm -hmm. uh, for just, just like every digital library, uh, we thought that we should also have a library catalog. And uh, this is one, uh, uh, this is the tool which we have developed uh, in October, 2023. Uh, Mahir Morshed who is the, is the developer of this tool. Mm -hmm. So as a, um, so this library catalog gives you an option to filter, the books or uh, videos, audios, whichever is there in Wikisource, according to different parameters and different filters. Uh, the only condition is that the metadata should be uh, available on Wikidata. Uh, and if that is available on Wikidata, it can reflect in this catalog tool. So there are five parameters actually. Uh, if you can see, uh, there are these these two buttons. Mm -hmm. uh, the first button gives you the parameters: the title of title, author, translator, editor, and uh, publisher. Okay. And then there are four filters: uh, contents, exact match, starts with, and ends with. So suppose uh, I uh, want to find what are the books which uh, uh, which contains the title uh, Japan? Uh, and I search this. Uh, I search from this catalog. It will give me the. It will run a background uh, Wikidata query, and it will give me the list of books which are there, which has the word Japan. So mm -hmm. this is the word Japan. I see. Yeah, and you can also add more filters. Uh, so this is uh, uh, another filter if you want to see that uh, uh, if if an author, you want to see the title Japan and uh, uh, author whose exact match is uh, Rabindranath Tagore, which is who was a very famous author from our region, a Nobel laureate. Mm -hmm. So if he has written any books about Japan, uh, you can also search that uh, and it will give a result instantaneously, almost instantaneously, depending on the number of uh, uh, results you, you have on Wikidata. Sure. And is this tool only available in Bangla at the moment or um, is it available to use in other languages as well? No, it is, it is only available on Bangla. Okay. All right. Well, thank you for showing uh, for showing me this. And um, do you have any other um, examples to show? Yeah, I can show you another thing. Um, so uh, all these uh, tools were mostly uh, uh, revolved around metadata of mm -hmm. books or contents, but Wikidata can also be utilized. Uh, for the actual text. So uh, 
so, so this is one page of a book. Okay. Uh, written by Ravindranath Tagore again. Uh, the name of the book is Russia Chitti. That means the letters from Russia. When he visited in, uh, Russia, uh, he wrote the book. Okay. And um, we have we have transcribed that book. So at the left side you can see the scanned version, and uh, at the right side you can see the scanned version, and you can see the unicoded text in the uh, in the left portion. Mm -hmm. So. If we have an entity which is already there on Wikidata, uh, and we need to link that entity, uh, we can use a we have you have we have a tool for that. Instead of simple uh, adding a Wikidata link, we can use that tool which can directly fetch the data from Wikidata and provide the link there and display the uh, link to Wikipedia or Wikisource, whichever the site link is there. This page has the word Berlin. That's where I am right now. Yeah. And we have a button right in the bottom of the page. And if I select the word Berlin there, it will give me option, uh, all kinds of option uh, which has the word Berlin in Wikidata. Right. So okay. I will select the correct one, which is mm -hmm. this one. It is the Berlin, which is the capital of Germany. And if I click on the, there are two options actually. If I click on the upper right button here mm -hmm. or the lower left button here, uh, it will automatically link to that QID and uh, give you the uh, link to the Wikipedia article. So I'm just going to the upper right button, which gives you option to link one at a time. Okay. So I have already clicked on it. Let's see if something has happened or not. Yeah, so you can see the there is a linked uh, link which has been done, uh, and if you click on the that link, it will directly go to the Wikipedia article of Berlin, the Bangla Wikipedia article of Berlin. Okay, and this uh, this annotation tool is that how you refer to it? Yes, uh, it is a JavaScript actually. It was again built by Mahir Mose. Okay, so um, this doesn't come. Like as is, uh, if I open my uh, if I open my wiki source up, it's not ready and available there. I have to install it somewhere. Yes, uh, yes, you have to install uh, as a JavaScript in your wiki source. If you're an editor and you're uh, using Wikidata on wiki source, um, are there some considerations or best policies or practices or or anything you need to keep in mind? Uh, yeah, actually, we follow uh, a data model, uh, which is uh, documented very well in uh, wiki project books in Wikidata. Okay. So we follow the FRBR model, uh, which is a very popular conceptual framework for any any digital uh, library. So we divide the uh, we actually try to divide all our contents according to two parts, works and editions. Mm -hmm. So in Wikisource, we actually work on editions, all kinds of editions, um, maybe multiple editions of a single work. And uh, uh, so whenever we try to uh, link Wikidata and Wikisource, we actually follow that data model so that there happens no error anywhere. Um, and with that data model, we, we use Wikidata from there. So anyone who is trying to link uh, Wikidata with Wikisource, uh, please visit uh, Wiki Project Books. You can get the full documentation there. Okay, great. Thank you. And I'll just ask a final question then. Um, we hope that people watching this video will then go on and be interested in um, editing Wikisource or contributing and, and also using Wikidata. 
what advice uh, would you have for someone if they didn't know how to start? Uh, so uh, most of these tools and uh, scripts which we have developed are kind of specialized tools. Uh, it requires some level of expertise. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are some tools which can easily be uh, utilized in any kind of uh, wikis, uh, especially wiki source. Uh, for example, you can use Wikidata info box, uh, which is available in different uh, Wikimedia projects already. Many Wikipedia and Wikimedia Commons has, is already using it. We are also using it in Bangla wiki source. So just copy and paste that code uh, whichever is uh, feasible for uh, your project and uh, make it available for your wiki source or you can also use a tool which was developed by uh, magnus manske uh, the name of the tool is listeria uh, and you can generate different kinds of uh, lists and visualizations uh, based on your requirement using that tool also so that tool is also very easy to deploy and uh, in your wiki uh, so for i guess for start these two tools can be very handy uh, but after that uh, if the requirement grows or if you need more space specific or specialized kind of tools um, you can you can develop it yourself or you can hire someone some developers or someone from your community. Okay. And is there perhaps uh, a community portal like uh, like the coffee shop or I th is it called the scriptorium on Wikisource where people can go and ask questions and get advice? Yes. Yes. It's called scriptorium. Yes. Scriptorium. Okay. Great. Um, thank you, Bodhisattva.